Snapchat. Ever wanted to see what the people who are supposed to have lives are doing every second of their life? Snapchat can help. Ever wanted to see who's messaging who for a quick streak? Snapchat can help. Ever wanted to look like a dog? Snapchat can help. And by God, is that idea rough. Uh, are you seriously making dog puns right now? Uh, yeah, why do you ask? Dude, I'm literally a dog. Only now you're making the jokes. I've been here since like 2018, y'all. Yeah. Don't call me out, just seem like the time. Alright, I'm about to head out. I'll come back when you stop making those cheap dog jokes. Oh, come on, meme dog. Don't get your non-existent whiteies in a tighty. Whatever, he gives himself less screen time. <clears throat> anyway, Snapchat has to be the worst app I have ever used. And I've used a lot of apps. Since I was like 12, this app has always been the trendy thing to use. And it still is to a lot of people. What is the exact point in posting something just so someone can see it for 10 seconds? Let me just answer that. Novelty, that's the reason why. Whether you're at a concert, whether you're at the beach, whether you're just watching Netflix, everyone has to know what you're doing at all times because obviously that's the, how the world works. And people obviously need to know where you are at all times. <laughs> Snapchat maps or whatever the crap is. Or people obviously needed to know that you're watching Shrek 2 on ITV because it's Christmas time. Now Snapchat is most commonly known for having filters and I dare I say it, it's the best feature of the app. And still, these features are terrible. The painful overuse of these filters is just mind numbing. People are just obsessed with putting filters over their face to make them puke rainbows or something. And people love to use the filter that makes them have a high-pitched voice because that is top-tier comedy. Am I right, Fred? I'm okay with the occasional filter. It's okay to put a filter over your photo to make it try and look pretty, try and look nice or whatever. But if you make it mandatory, every photo you post has a friggin' dog filter over it. Well, you just need to get a life, don't you? One good thing I want to mention is that they have the ability to scan a snap code and you can get custom snapchat filters but they're not really effective when no one knows that they exist only the memers and the fact that 90% of the snapchat fan base is just like teenagers who are worrying that maybe Johnny might like them in class C or... <laughs> Snapchat also has the ability, well, to send messages. Innovative. And obviously you get to know when people open them and read them. And this doesn't really work because Snapchat, it's flawed. You can just see the message, turn off your internet, load it up, close the app, open it back up again, turn on the internet and, well, you can just basically ignore messages if you want, which is kind of sad. I suppose it's good if you like ignoring people, but it just creates a lot of trust issues for younger people. Oh, and yes, the news section, where you can read all the fascinating news articles, like the iPhone tips. No one really cares about these, and you can also view celebrities and companies' stories. Every phone I've ever had that I put Snapchat on doesn't like the stories for the celebrities. I'll load them up and they'll have these flashy little banners which are too high quality for any phone and they just crash. And Snapchat for whatever reason on every phone I've ever used it on turns my phone into an oven or a grill for the local McDonald's. Literally any phone that I've put Snapchat on can't go five minutes without overheating or just going up to boiling temperature. I don't know what it is with Snapchat, but it's the only app that I've ever had problems with overheating. I could probably put an egg on my phone if I installed Snapchat, and it would probably cook the egg within 10 minutes. Get a sizzle going, my nizzle. Also, if you thought Snapchat was bad for them, well, stories are on other apps now. Facebook, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, your gran. <laughs> Stories are everywhere, whether you like it or not now. You cannot stop the uproar.
Surprising. I used to have this app on my phone because when I was in school it was trendy and even then I didn't like it. I barely used it. And I think to have fun on Snapchat you either have to be a pretty girl or just popular in general. Otherwise no one sends you snaps. Guess old meme man was just a nerd and no one cared for him except for streaks. Anyway, that's enough rambling. That's Meme Police on Snapchat. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode of Meme Police, whenever that is.